Hello, people. It has been a long time. We have not done a live in two months, so you may want to thank Gene Barillo for putting this live together for us <laughs> because he has a big mouth, and we're going to talk about Gene. But we're only going to talk a little bit about Gene because we got so many things to talk about. And uh, I'm just glad to be here. Talking. You know, it's been a long time, Lee. So. Yes. Yes. And, and the thing we really. This. Italiano, you always say that. I gotta, how did I get your text? Come on. Okay, uh, I gave you my email. You want to email me? Email me. Solar Marshall, it's good to see you here. So people, just so you know, tomorrow we're going to be doing a wrestling live at 6 o'clock on the wrestling channel. Today is going to be a mob live. And, uh, you know, we have not done a live here for two, for, for two months. So we're probably out of the algorithm. I have no idea how many people are going to show up. But we're going to have some good conversations about all this crazy stuff going on in YouTube. We're just going to give our opinions. We're not going to attack nobody, except for maybe Gene. <laughs> we're not going to attack nobody. We're just going to give our opinion. Uh, do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, I mean, I think it. I think it's really good. You know, I think there's a lot that, you know, a couple of things I want to say uh, later on, but I'm. I think this is, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight and, uh, we'll, we'll, um, we, you know, we have to respond a little bit to Gene. Yes. We got to respond a little bit to Gene because that's what women beaters deserve. They, they, you know, uh, I have a little issue people. Gene Burlo always tells everybody what a great fighter he is and all these things, but here's the problem. There's no evidence of him ever fighting. There's nothing, him never beating nobody. But you know what we have evidence in? We have evidences of Gene Barillo beating up women. There's lots of evidence about Gene Barillo beating up women. That we do know. I mean, James, am I wrong there? I mean, there is no. a lot of evidence. Of no, there's a lot of evidence of that, of course, with the the documents of, you know, he's, he's in a, um, what do you call it, a protective order. I mean... I mean, to me, if you slap, push, hit, you know, if you have any sort of violence towards a woman, that's, you know, that's beating them. You know, you shouldn't do that. You know, you need to be a man and and have control, have self-control. And Gene, Gene was back to doing, he's back to his old routine of attacking the goddies. He was attacking Angel today. He was attacking uh, the sun today. Um, this is what punks do, people. Punks attack people because they know there's no repercussion. That's what they do. <laughs> yeah. But there was a time when he used to see uh, the God he's in a restaurant and he'd walk in the other direction, go on the other side of the street. So he's not the tough guy he blames to be, he claims to be. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, you know, Gene, let me ask you a question, Gene. I know you're watching because you're a half an idiot and you're going to watch. So, Gene, let me ask you a question. Are you capable of doing your own show without attacking people? Like saying horrible things about people? It's one thing. You know, you want to call somebody a name and stuff. Well, we got into this battle about a year ago, Gene, me and you, and it didn't end well for you. Are we going to do this again? Because we'll have the same ending again. I'll guarantee you that. Because you're not as clever as you think you are. Okay. So, James. Yep. Uh, we're going to read some of these names here. I'm going to say hi to people. Read the names. Okay. And I, I'm surprised we have this many, to be honest with you. Yeah, so it's I, been I, so I, long. Yeah, thank you, everyone. So yep. Okay. So listen, the cash app's there if you want to send a cash app. If you want to donate, we don't come up here asking for donations and stuff. But if you donate to me, maybe I'll do more live live shows. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that's, that's the compromise. Gives us some motivation, you know, right? <laughs> gives us motivation. You make money, it motivates you to come out here and do some lives. Yep. Okay, Chills, how you doing? Uh, well, Chills is a new guy here, Real Argo. Good to see you, my man. Gianni, always good to see you, Gianni. Uh, Joe Everman, good to see you. I'm glad you're here. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to read any of these yet. I'm trying to get the names. Uh, Anthony Luciano Romundi said that uh, we have no problem, Anthony. Uh, you came in yesterday. We argued a little bit. You're a good guy. Just Let's just move on. Uh, 
Jesus, how you doing? I like the way he spelled Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I do too. You know, I feel really good to have Jesus in our chat. Yeah. Okay. I, do, I wonder if that's the real Jesus. Yeah. Is this the real Jesus? Can someone find out? Check out his profile, please. Mm. Joe Root, how you doing? Uh, appreciate you being here. Tony B, of course. Jane, how you doing, Jane? It's good to see you here. Dave T from Boston Laborers Union. Hello. Uh, Solar Marshall, how you doing? Thank you for uh, Jane. Uh, we said your name. Italiano, 1018. Stop with the lead if you get my text. This must be CM. CM loves the buff my chops. This must mm -hmm. be CM. Graves End, good to see you, my man. I hope everything's going good in your in the football league for you. I'm not sure. I didn't check your record. I'm sorry, Graves End. Uh, Real Argo. Uh, down down neck Newark. Good to see you down neck. Ooh, Grandbino. I haven't seen him in a long time, Grandbino. I'm glad you're here. Finn Creek. Finn Creek. Be good. You can hang out. That's <laughs> it. Be good. Be respectful. And we'll be respectful to you. If you guys have any issues with anybody from other shows, do not block them. The only people, the, uh, mods, just do me a favor. If somebody gets out of line, put them, time out them. Don't block nobody unless they're just really awful. Nico Connection, it's good to see you here, my man. I appreciate you coming on. Joy, it's always good to see you, Joy. Thank you very much. Yes, Joy, thank you for being here. Okay, and uh, let's see. Tony Silo, it's really good to see you here. Thank you, Tony. Uh, Anthony H., thank you. Okay, let's see. Angel Gotti will be here in about a half hour because she wants to uh, – she wants to um, – uh, mention someone that's making some statements toward her and her family, and we're going to mention talk to him about this person. Okay, Joe Everman, good to see you. Nick Silo, Cilio, uh, Larry Blaze Reno, Charlie. I can't keep up now. I'm starting to fall behind. If I miss you, I apologize, but I don't want to fall too far behind. Mustache Pete, it's always good to see you here. Mustache. Uh, matter of fact, Mustache. I'm going to give you a wrench, and I hope that you don't mind, uh, because Mustache Pete and I, we have issues. We used to have issues and stuff, but he truly is a good guy. That's just my opinion. I may not agree with him, some of the things he says and stuff, but that's how I feel about him. Okay. Boy, a lot of people here. Uh, yeah. They're just rolling in, James. Yeah. Yeah, and folks, please hit the like button if you could for us and yeah we're at 40 likes get us to 100 yeah. likes as quick as you can let's yeah. get, get to 100 quick uh likes quicker than angel does so we can team her mm. okay yeah but thank you yeah i'm really um just um overwhelmed by you know everyone being here tonight that's um you know i i didn't know what to expect to be honest because we haven't done this in two months so no it and, means and we're going to talk about a few things yeah. We're going to talk about a few things, and, and I'm just going to offer my opinion on this. And uh, we're not going to be attacking nobody here, except Gene, because he deserves it. <laughs> uh, he just has this face that you just want to attack it. I mean, you know, he's one of Gene's one of those guys that his whole life he's been beating up midgets and women. That's Gene. He thinks he's a tough guy. He tells everybody here how tough he is. But there's no evidence of toughness. None. None. I shot this one. I shot this one. No evidence of shooting nobody. His book is full of lies. You could sit down and take Gene's book and open it up, and you'll find a hundred lies through the whole book. You could literally, you know, the lies. I shot Ali Shades. Dude, you'd be dead if you shot Ali Shades, first of all. Uh, we do know that you women got tied up in a house robbery, but Gene, you never told us the truth. You never told us that you were the driver of the car. You weren't even in the house. But you make it sound like you broke in and you tied these people up. You were the driver, Gene. The driver. And I'm doing you a favor, Gene, by talking about you right now. Uh, I promise someone asked me not to talk too much about you, so I'm not going to. So this is your choice, Gene. You can just keep your mouth shut and do your show, or you could be stupid. But see, we know the ending of this, Gene. The ending is, uh, is this. You will meet a girl, you will beat that girl, and you will go to jail. That's your ending. 
So we don't have to worry about you too much. And hopefully the girl that you just finished beating, you lied. You said that you said that you didn't beat her, that uh, she stabbed you in the leg. Uh, I believe Stax put up some pictures of her with all the cuts and scrapes all over her. What were the cuts and scrapes from, Gene? Bruises on her arms. Uh, horrible shit. I mean, come on, dude. Really? Did you ever bruise your, your old lady, James? Have you ever bruised a woman, you know, scratched no. them up and beat them? Have no. you ever kicked the door down because that woman was pissing you off? Never kicked the door oh, down. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. I think he kicked the door down, people. <clears throat> he kicked the door down. May put, me put my fist Bobby through a that. door. No. <laughs> well, a lot of men have put their fists through doors because of women. <laughs> okay, Mickey Griggs, I just gave you a wrench. Please respect your wrench, people. Jen Silo, it's good to see you here. Ra Ra, I'm going to give you a wrench. Any of, any of Angel's people I see here, I will also give a wrench to. We got 218 in the house. Listen, I don't see any money coming in yet. I'm about to shut this down. No. <laughs> I'm going to shut this down in an hour and a half. No. Okay. Okay. Real deal. You don't got a wrench, real deal? What's that all about? Yeah. Real deal should have a wrench, shouldn't he? I'm giving out wrenches, people. If I recognize you, I'm giving you a wrench. If I don't, Lee, can I have a wrench, Anthony H? Uh, what the hell? We'll, you know, we'll, we'll take a chance, Anthony. You know, I think you'll do a good job, Anthony. Grandbino, thank you for the five. Uh, whoops. Thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate it. Mike DeBella. It's good to see Mike DeBella here. Mike DeBella is one of the good guys that comes in here. He always donates to all these shows. Uh, he's kind of underrated. Uh, I remember when Mike first came in here, we had our issues, but once you get to know him and, and he always supports the shows. So, you know, yep. you got to say that you got, that means says a lot about a person when he's always supporting different yeah, shows. Thank you, Mike. He doesn't support one show. Like last night he went in and, and supported angels. I've seen no, that's support nice. Yeah. Show, FBS, uh, this show, wherever Mike DeBello goes, he supports the show. So, uh, Mike, that's why Thank we're going to give you a shout out, Mike, because uh, you're a good guy. Okay. Okay, one second, please. I'm trying to. God damn it. Okay. Okay. So we got a couple things that have happened. Okay. First of all, we had this thing happened, uh, and I'm not going to get too much into it, but. Uh, uh, people being accused of uh, being uh, informants and stuff. Um, and they haven't been accused of being informants before. Right. It's happening now. Uh, and I'm just going to say this, and James and I have decided to take this stance. Mike DeBella, 1999, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, here's the stance we're going to take on that. Until we see more actual evidence, it's not something we're going to talk about. Right. It doesn't matter what I believe or whether I think it's true or not. We have a tendency to say horrible things about people in here without 100% evidence. Right. And we're not going to be. And listen, some people may not like that person. I never got along with that person. But but until I see 100% solid proof, if you're going to if you're going to say that someone put someone in prison, we need to see documentation. Yeah, it's that simple. And James and I discussed that. And we even discussed this with Angel. Angel said the same thing, people. Same yeah, thing. I mean, we just, it's just, to me, people need to be careful with the accusations. I mean, and, and for me, it, it's not about if I like someone, don't like someone. Uh, it's about <clears throat> having proof. You know, if, if you have something, uh, put it out there. If it's true, you know, what I don't understand, what's, What's the point in just holding this and putting rumors out that, oh, this person's a um, informant? What's the point in doing that? Just put it out there if you have something. 
Yeah, you know, there's somebody you running know. around the background. There's someone working, running around the backgrounds, making big claims. Yeah. So our challenge to that person is, bring, put your stuff out. If you yeah. have all this stuff, just put it out. Right. Don't wait a week. Don't wait two weeks. Don't wait three weeks. And if you don't have nothing, don't do nothing. Right. That's what it comes down to. And I'm going to be honest. FES and I do not like each other. We never have and never will. But I'm sorry. And if this was me, he'd probably be doing a full show on me. But that's not how I'm going to do this with James. We're not going to do it that way. No. Uh, so we just want to see more evidence on that. And um, if we don't see the evidence, then we're not going to talk about it. Uh, we have another person in here who I do not get along with that's being called a child molester with very bad evidence. Mm. Do you realize, do people realize how bad it is to call a man a child molester? Yeah, I mean, I mean. where is the, you know, you know, where is the solid proof when you're going to call someone a child molester? That yeah. is some serious charges. Yeah, and I don't understand this, you know, what this is with, I don't know if it's part of this genre or what it is about all of these accusations about people. And and some of these people, like, I believe the guy that they're accusing of being that doesn't even have a channel, right? He's not even a content creator. No, no, this is somebody with a channel. Uh, oh, okay. You know, and, and listen, I'm not saying it's not true or it's true. I'm saying that I do not see enough evidence to call a man a child molester. That's a very serious charge. Yeah. If you call, you know, if you're in county jail and if you call someone uh, a, a child molester, they will get beat up really bad. Yeah. And I've seen it. I've been in jail when I've seen people get beat up. I remember I was in M unit in Westchester County at the Valhalla prison. I was getting ready. They were, get, were going to send me upstate. So we had to go stay in M unit. There was this guy there and the guard said, told people that he was a child molester. You know what happened? I seen about 10 guys run across the room and beat this guy unconscious mm. because he got that label. Right. You have people in here that call me a child molester when they get angry at me. They go after Jeff Canarsi and call Jeff Canarsi a child molester. This is what they do. It's the, le it's the worst thing that you can call a man is a child molester. There's nothing worse than it. Okay, and if we're missing some of the stuff that you were saying, and we're just trying to, we're, we've just missed a lot of stuff here, people, and we're just trying to cover it. I'm going to drop the link. Angel, if you want to grab it, Angel wants to talk about somebody that is really uh, out, of, out of line. Yeah. Listen, I said what I'm going to say about Gene. I'm not going to stay up here and bash Gene. Because no. Because there's lots of things, there's lots of things to bash Gene on. Yeah. Okay. No, I Gene. mean, um yeah, Ryan plays. Uh, we're doing a live wrestling live tomorrow, and um, we'll probably sh maybe start this weekend with the Saturday midnight show for the wrestling. It'll either be this weekend or next weekend, but we will be doing the weekly um, wrestling show uh, live at midnight so on Saturday. I dropped the link. Angel, if you can grab it in five minutes, if Angel doesn't grab it, somebody else can grab it. We're almost at 300 people. <laughs> you guys are shocking the daylights out of me. Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot. And yeah, thank you, everyone. It really means a lot. Okay. Uh, and for those who have donated so far, it also means a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, device is not connected. Okay. We have the woman I love very much, a very close friend of mine. I kiss her ass at every moment I get. Uh, James has started kissing her ass on a regular basis, too. Angel Gotti, how are you doing? Hey, Dave, thank you for the um, for the donation. It means a lot. $9.99. Yes, Dave, Dave, Dave says, good to see two people doing well. The KZ stories of the future would be nice. Seems like a redheaded stepchild or fifth wheel of the big five. Yes, they are. Exactly. We did a vote today. We have like a thousand people came in and so far and voted. We put up what family do you find the most exciting? 50% said, 58% said Gambino's and then 20% yeah. was Genovese. I was surprised by the big, by the big, big difference. Weren't you, uh, James? Yeah, a little bit, but you know, what I've noticed is that there's a lot more out there with the, yeah, look at, let's look at who, who people listen to, you know, Angel Gotti, your father was obviously, uh, 
Gambino, right? <laughs> and Mikey Scars, uh, even Sammy Gravano. The you know the, a lot of the people that are that are out here with shows are associate somewhat with that family so that's probably the reason um but yeah you're right like the lucases i think they were the the least right yeah they were the least they finished behind the clum clumbos in our pearl and let pearl. me just oh say God. something pearl. before the baby wakes up and starts crying okay. sure angel angel wants to say something before the baby starts screaming it the yeah. floor's yours angel Gotti. she's been sleeping for a whole four hours so uh she might be getting up soon. <clears throat> I'm just going to okay. say a few things, okay? Um, Go for it. The Borello kid said something about how um, my father's been dead 20 years, and the name is dead, and he's dead. and But yet his family member continues to make a living off every show he does. It's John Gotti, John Gotti, John Gotti. So uh, that's not nice, Gene. Uh, your family is the one using the name more than I do. Uh, as far as JC, JC said something today that I threatened a sparkle. I don't even know what a sparkle is. I don't know who sparkle is, but um, put the proof up, JC. Put up the proof where I even, ever, my friend with the hat, and I ever even said the word sparkle. These well, people when he lie, was, Lee Cole. These people lie. Did you see when he was talking, he went in to talk to a woman and called her sparkles? And she goes, again? Okay, so I, I have no I don't even know what that means. I don't even know who she is. I never said a damn thing about her. Oh, and as far as him saying that uh, about the memes... It was your buddy who said it. I played that video where it was your buddy who said you made the memes, JC. Okay. And uh, Angel, um, what do you think about the, that matchup? I mean, it's, it's a successful meeting of the minds between JC and and uh and gene barillo because i didn't watch it i don't care to watch it i just got sent a clip um that apparently this clip is going around to all my friends uh but uh the person who sent it to everyone didn't send it to me but someone else did <laughs> but anyway uh that i threatened to sparkle and this sparkle is a gang member and she's gonna get me uh bring it on bitch Bring it on. Well, I got, I got a sparkle. Bring it on, I got, I got JC. A, I don't even know what a sparkle I found is. Out who, I found out who Sparkle is. Oh. oh this is ridiculous. I didn't want to address them. My daughter got really mad at me. My best friend got mad at me and saying these two people are so irrelevant and to address them anymore, it's, it's like really ridiculous. They are two people who... Um, who do nothing but lie. What? They will never matter. And they will never matter is right. You know, somebody told me something, and I didn't say this last night, but I really should have. But, um, Gene, weren't you a lookout for your friends and you were, yeah. you sat in the Robin car Nelson. while they got walked in on and ultimately arrested? Wasn't that you? Yes. That was him. And then to make fun of my son, oh, the kid is a herb. My son is successful and married with two sons and a beautiful wife and a brand new house and, and an excellent job. And that's the best kind of man you could be. He doesn't have anything okay. around his ankle. Okay. He's never been arrested. Yep. He's a good kid. <laughs> yep. We're supposed to be embarrassed that my son is a herb. What's a herb? It's yes, and my son never beat a woman either. <laughs> Angel, I got to ask you a question. Uh, how old is your son? 39. So he's the same age as Gene, right? Gene is, I, think, I believe, a year older. Okay. And how many kids does your son have? Two. How many kids does Gene have? I have no clue. I don't know. I, I don't care. I really don't okay, care. You have none. You have no kid. What? See, this is what it comes down to. 
When you have all these girls and you're 40 years old and you've got no kids, that means you shoot blanks. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yes, he shoots blanks. Baby. No. Yeah, I, I don't know about his, that. His gun is empty. I just his know, gun is listen, empty. For him to talk no badly about... no bullets in his gun, I'm telling you. For him to talk badly about my son, it, it just shows what it, what like what an idiot you are. Am I, we supposed to be embarrassed. Oh, her, her son is a herb. Ooh, <laughs> he's a successful herb. <laughs> well, you're a joke too. they're a they, joke you can't even, they didn't say like, you can't even uh, get mad at this anymore they are jokes Angel didn't they, wasn't her papers just put out that said Gene had to get out of the motel because he couldn't afford it oh is that true I have no idea yeah that's what it said it said Gene needed to find an apartment because he couldn't afford the motel so you know Gene you're just trying to be something yeah you know. And I said it last night. I don't know. Maybe that's an insult to Gene. I said it last night. Like, he never tied up anybody. He was the lookout outside in the car. He feel, finds that to be an insult. I feel really sorry for him. I really do feel sorry for him. You want to play this role of something that you were never really said. I guess anybody could be anything they want on the internet. Why don't you try being a good person? Why don't you try if that? Knows what a herb is. If, if anybody knows what the herb, a herb is, please write it. I have no chat. idea what a herb yeah. is. Yeah, like in other I, words, um, what's a, another word for herb? What's another word for herb? H e r b is spelled what? herb. Yeah. Uh, Anthony says it means cornball. Uh, oh, Boston, okay. Boston nerd. boss says it means geek. Yeah, geek. Nerd. I'm very proud of my geeky son. Great. That's amazing. He's successful. I'm so happy. My son never had a, a an ankle bracelet around his ankle. He's never been in, uh, put in prison. He's never had to rat on anyone. He, My son has a great job and just bought a new house. We're very, very, very proud of that herb. And then yes. he said something about, he said something about, the G Alonzos hate us. No, the G Alonzos hate you, Gene. You put them away. Yes. How can they like you, Gene? You put, the <laughs> you put them away. Not us. You put them away. Isn't it amazing, though? A lot of these informants. Yeah, I'm talk best about friends how with them for 48 <laughs> years. You put them away. They hate you. <laughs> it's like so ridiculous at this point, Lee. We have 355 in here right now. Wow, really very good. Have, well, Angel, you know, if you need to talk to me, I'll, I'll help you out a little bit. Well, listen, <laughs> and then I was thinking about it. I thought about this, too. Like, he said that um, that the reason why he was mad about me was that I was on the Internet. He was mad about Joey Merlino being on, the, on YouTube. I'm sorry, not the Internet, YouTube. But... I think what's bothering these guys more about Joey Merlino being on YouTube is that Merlino is the man that they could never be. That's oh, without I mean. a doubt. That's exactly what it is. And, but see, that's what Gene does. He, he cannot do a show on his own without attacking people. See, that's what Gene does. He that's attacks people. Sad. Why don't you try changing your life around? Why don't you try, you know... Uh, maybe you'll get lucky and this bracelet will come off. Why don't you try doing something like uh, productive in society? Why don't you do that instead? Like get okay, a real right, job. Right, right away. Hey, don't delete what Zio said. Zio is right. We used to love Gene. I when, when yes, I first came did. here, and met, let me let me finish. When I first came in here and met Gene, and I was warned. I was warned. I, I and I remember when I stopped talking to him. It was because. He was going down to Florida to be with that girl, and I told him I didn't want any part of the destruction it was going to cause, and that's exactly what it did. Do I regret it? Listen, I'm a baby when it comes to this stuff. Uh, it's like I was talking to somebody today, and they said, Lee, when you came in here, you knew nothing about the Internet. I knew nothing about uh, what these informants did to destroy lives. I knew none of that stuff. I was, you learn. If people don't think people can learn in here, they can kiss my ass. I know how I feel. And uh, I get up every day. So Zio, you're entitled to write that. Please don't block Zio because he wrote that. Uh, but if he writes another nasty thing, block him. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, 
Merlino, seriously, is a man that Gene could never be. That's the only thing I could think of why you would go after him. Why would you go after me? All I'm doing is defending my family against the lies people like him and the others tell. That's Joey it. Merlino, that Angel, Joey Merlino can walk all through Philadelphia and people cheer him. If Gene walked to Howard Beach, they would chase him. They would chase him, and Gene would pull a bubble yeah, knife he out said of his that car. He said he actually said he chased my son out of Howard Beach. Uh, Gene, you're talking about John Gotti's grandson. You never chased him anywhere. You were the one. It's all over the internet who got chased out of Howard Beach by a bunch of teenagers. Uh, my son, yes. <laughs> my son had his own apartment in uh in Howard Beach for 4 years. Nobody chased my son anywhere, Gene. That's so ridiculous. I don't know why lie. Why lie like that? Yep. And thank you so much for the support you're giving us tonight. It's really appreciated. It yes. Makes me feel good to be back here doing lives. And uh, I, I got a feeling we're going to be back again, especially when you support us. We didn't know. And this is another thing I'm going to talk about. We we hit 16,000 subs today. Oh, very and good. I'm tired, of, very good. I'm tired of people accusing James and I of buying subs. No, we get we do good because we put up good stuff. Our shorts are doing good. We get four or five, six thousand. So that more on Gene. They buy, Gene, here's the thing. Do a show. Try not to attack somebody and see if anybody would watch you. Nobody would watch you if you weren't attacking people. Nobody. How come Dominic Chicali doesn't want you as a partner? How come John A. Light doesn't want you back? Because they know your trouble and that you would hurt their show. So there's only one guy desperate enough out there to take you back, take you on his show. So try doing the right thing. You know, instead of attacking people, try doing something. I don't know. And instead of lying, because, uh, you know, Try telling Gene is here. Truth. I just saw his name. Gene, you're more than welcome. You you you, you can't come up here because I would I'll jump trouble. off. He could come up. I'll jump no, off. No, no, I don't. No, no, I'm not putting. No, you could have him. I don't. I would no, never no, be on a screen no, with no, him. No, but no, you could no. have him on. No, an informant's not coming up here. Uh, so Mike DeBella, not 1999. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I mean, what can I say? Thank you a lot. Yep. Thank you very name. much. Very kind. Okay, let's see what some other. JC, uh, you got to put that proof up, JC. You got to put up that sparkle stuff. Because whatever yours, whatever sparkles you're sprinkling in your cereal. I, I, Angel, I know who Sparkles is. Oh, she's okay. supposedly he, some gang member. I mean, no, no, no. Sparkles is his second personality. He dresses up as a woman and calls himself Sparkles. That's absolutely ridiculous. I never even heard of a Sparkles before, let alone threaten her or talked about her. He, he's a liar. And like I said, JC, it was your friend. I, I played the video. I played the, the video on my show. You, uh, your friend said you made those memes. I just played the video. Maureen Frick, good to see you here. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we're going to read some of these. Uh, Stax uh, put up some pics today. Yeah, Stax, I'll tell you what. I that seen was that picture. disgusting. If that was oh her, that was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. I mean, what did you, you scratched her? Is that, are those scratches? And people. What are those? Yeah. People, do yourself a favor. When this show's over, go over to Stax. And check out that he, he has it on his page, his uh, community page. And when I seen that, it was like you could tell that was not like an accident. That was a, a violent. That was a violent confrontation of a man hurting a woman. And uh, guys believe guys on here stuck up for him when he first came and said said his story. Uh, those guys should reconsider. The guys that stuck up for him go over to Stack Show and look at. The community page. But, but was that her? Was that really her? Yeah. Was that, a, was that her, though? You have to ask that first. Was that her? Oh, Angel, why you, why you... I had something good going there. I don't give a shit if it was... <laughs> I'm just saying, I, you can't... I don't give a shit if it was a girl from Sweden. have to be sure that it was her. It could be a girl from Sweden. Okay? Uh, 
Rebecca says he'll say crazy and did it to him to herself. Men like that will always do shit. Yes, men like that. You know, and people say, oh, he just breaks down doors and stuff. If a man's violent enough to break down a door, he's violent enough to hurt a woman. Don't kid yourself. And sooner or later, and that judge that let him out should be ashamed of himself for not looking out for that. If that picture that stacks has it up, is that is uh, her? The judge should be ashamed that he let that out in the street. You're talking about Judge Block? No, I'm not saying yeah. that Stacks. I don't put want to mention the fake judge's name. Picture. Yeah, I'm. I'm not saying that Stacks put up the fake picture. Not at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just saying, is that really her, though? Right. I understand your question. It's a fair yeah. question. Like, in other words, is it just like some random uh, abused woman, or is that really her? I, I'm not sure. It's it's a good question. Stacks, if you have an answer to that, we'd like that answer. Is that really her? Come on, I'm shouting out your show, Stacks. It's the least you could do. It's tough. We got 360. Well, and that, that's the other thing. You know, that's part of what I've been talking about is that, you know, when when there's allegations, there, there needs to be uh, proof. And so we have the, the proof on Gene from the, you know, at least from the police report and you know, the protective order, all that. We don't, you know, the, the photos, we don't know. We need, you know, I just hope that, uh, you know, it's not, well, I hope it didn't happen. But again, I also hope it's not, um, you know, different, you know, no, what do you say? Funny. You know, let's assume, it, let's assume it's real until he says it's not. Yeah. Okay. okay so let's read some of these. God, I'm so I'm, I'm worse than Angel tonight. I'm way behind. Uh, first live in two months, 240. No, that's not 240 in here. Okay, get it straight. Oh, wow. You got three, 356 in here. Lee, that's what great. time is the um, wrestling live tomorrow? Is it 6 p.m. Eastern? There's a couple we're gonna of people asking. We're going to do a 6 p.m. Eastern wrestling. So if someone could drop the link for our wrestling channel, I'd appreciate it. And if you got, and I, I don't have it on me. You can you'll find it underneath the video in the description. If someone could si uh, drop that link, one of the mods, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Angel's going to be there tomorrow, and she's going to be dressed up as a wrestler. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait. What? <Yeah. laughs> Angel's going to be dressed up as a wrestler tomorrow. Yeah, and we have also the Patreon page uh, for. You know, we're we're having new people join every day, and it's, um, you know, Angel, you you put up a lot of new content. You know, you <coughs> have. Excuse me. Do you um, can you uh, mention the addition in your family? Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by uh, uh Lesso. Lesso hates you, Lee. That's all there is to it. Okay, block I'm Lesso. Sorry. What did you say, um, James? Who's ever in here, block Lesso. Get rid of him. Uh, okay, well, first of all, before you say anything, Angel, neutral drop. I haven't seen you in a long time. Thank you for that. I appreciate What's happening? that. No one can hear me, I guess. Okay, neutral drop. Uh, if we can get the size of your show someday, like, what are you at, like 200,000 now? Um, so, I mean, you got a real show. Hold on one minute. Okay. So you come in here, Lesso. We try to treat you decent, but you got to be a little punk. So we'll treat you like a punk. How's that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, am I coming through at all? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, okay. No, I was saying that we have a Patreon, and my, you know, my father's daughter with Angel Gotti is just saying there's a lot of new content that's been put up. And so we don't put it out on YouTube. No, I'm not going to put it out on YouTube. And tomorrow I'll be putting um, some more videos up on there. Tomorrow. Yeah. Nicasio, he says the same thing. Okay, Angel and I talked about this. If anybody knows, FBS, Angel, and me, none of us are fans. We, you know, we do not like each other. But the reality is this. And even Angel said the same thing. There has to be more evidence showed. And people may not like me saying that, but it's the truth. Listen, I don't even like these people, but uh, you can't. I'm sorry. I'm a firm believer. You can't accuse anybody of 
something, either being a pedophile without the proof or a rat without yep. the proof. Sorry. Uh, can you drop the link for Marla? She wants to come on. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're going to bring some epic uh, situations here. <laughs> epic Marla wants to come on. Yeah. Uh, Marla was very upset this afternoon, and I tried to calm her down. <laughs> Marla, I, Marla, read, you can always I thought it was funny okay. with the whole GC thing. I really did. I thought it was very funny, but my friends got uh, very upset. Well, Marla, you got the link there. You can jump up here and you can come be epic if you want, as long as you keep not too many curse bombs, okay? We'll, we'll save the cursing for Angel's show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Angel's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Lee Coles, Memtr, Stig, Stacks, of course, Angel. Those are the ones I love. Yeah. Yeah. What is that noise? What? Oh, I have uh, people here. Oh, okay. Your daughter's looking for attention, Angel. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, Gus, I'm 27. I, I've had a rough 27 years, and um, my partner is about 10 years younger than me. That's all <laughs> I can say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, did you drop the link for Mala? I sure did. I'll drop it again. Okay. Just give her a minute to. Uh, I don't see the link. That's why I'm asking. I just dropped it. There it okay. is. Maybe it didn't go through the first time. Okay, there's the link. And if anybody else wants to jump on, give it five minutes to jump on. Uh, and uh, right now we have 329 here. So. Uh, as long as we have a good amount of people in here, we'll keep the show going. Unique Mastiffs, I wasn't, I was going to let it go, but not anymore. Sorry, I can't. Sorry. I What's can't. that, Angel? What Unique Mastiffs asked me. I'm not letting it go. Sorry, it's not going to happen. There's Marla. But Angel cannot survive without Marla. Sorry, it's not I guess I can. I just love Marla. Marla, how you doing? I cannot survive without Marla. Sorry, I guess I can. I just love Hold on. How do, which one do Why I go off? You have to turn off the YouTube. Got it. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. You figure hey. Marla would notice by now, Angel. Hi, Marla. Hey, Marla. Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, Marla. Guys? Good. Marla, are you surprised I got a live going tonight? I was very surprised. I clicked on and I saw I'm late, but uh, I'm simmering down from so, earlier. So, so Marla, what do you want to say about what you have seen? I think that, well, I, uh, what's his name? Uh, JC. Yeah, he's a nitwit. I don't like him at all. And uh, I don't know the deal with this sparkle chick. <laughs> she ain't coming over here and doing shit. I promise you that. To Angela or Angel. And uh, the freaking Powerpuff salad tossing Borello, Borello, whatever his name is, he can kiss my ass. I don't like him. Powder either. Puff? Did you call him Powder Puff? Yes, I don't like him either. Oh, he's, okay. he's on my, both of them are on my shit list. I can't stand either one. The I audacity. Know. I don't understand the audacity of these men. Like, we're not in high school. Who the hell do you think you are? Threatening people. So why are you upset? What, what happened today? Because, well, I got sent a video of... Uh, some about some girl sparkle does anybody know who this is i have that's no that's idea JC, that's jc's alter ego it's another personality he dresses up as a woman and he has sparklers <laughs> in his hand he runs around his backyard no he that's doesn't sparkle. it's supposedly it's some woman who is a i think he calls her 187 or something wait i have the clip. i have murder. the clip right hold on hold on let me get the clip and i will play it hold on exactly carol wait who sent yeah. it to me put up uh, proof or oh, shut right, up for making those accusations exactly okay here let's listen let's listen tell me if you could okay. hear this oh this is from lying informants and their enablers Sparkle say what's up. 
and then I got to bounce. Uh, one quick side note, you know, one of the videos that Angel's friend did, she showed an interview with my friend Sparkle. Now, Gene knows who Sparkle is, and yeah, I'll play it. Sparkle. What's up? Let's say what's up to my YouTube um, channel. Again? How was I doing oh, YouTube? Oh, my goodness. Hi. Come on out, guys. Let's say what's up to my YouTube um, channel. Again? Yeah, I'll play it. Angel Gotti, you were running your mouth, talking smack on her, as was your friend. I won't say your friend that wears the hat in her avatar hurt. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. But God, let me finish. You two ladies are suburban white women Karens. You are not tough women. <laughs> My friend Sparkle, Karen. my friend Sparkle is an Armenian, and anybody from Cali knows that Armenians from Glendale are part of the, they are an arm of the Mexican Mafia, the M.A. Right. Sparkle committed a 187, look that up, I'm not going to say the exact word of what it is, but you can look it up if you don't know. Yeah, I know what it is. Sparkle took out a dude that was stalking her, okay? Right. She had to serve, she, during pre-trial. Are you listening to this idiot? Yeah, <laughs> I, he wait, probably wait. just sounds like he's just joke. He yeah. he can't be serious, and well, listen, we need to be hurry. careful with the music <laughs> because I don't want to get demonetized. Let me. Uh, well, let me just finish. I don't think the music is loud enough. Oh, okay. No, okay. LA County County Jail with all the crazy gangster chicks from LA County. Then she went to Chowchilla, which is a women's prison here, for a few years before getting out. Angel and your friend, do not be want to be tough women on the internet. Because if you start talking smack about the wrong people, especially, look, Pocho, you can vouch for this. People, it, convicts from Cali take any of that stuff serious. And the only reason why I haven't told Sparkle directly about what you guys said about her in that live stream, which I have recorded even though the dude took the video down oh Going hold on line. a dude took the video down so a dude was talking about sparkle and he's blaming me for what play it angel okay it's because i know how she is sparkle will call some of her homegirl friends from la and a oh, few armenian chicks Okay, real quick, I'll have Sparkle say what's up. Sparkle. What's up? Let's say what's up to my YouTube um, channel. Again? Okay. That's it. Turn it off. So he's actually threatening me with a sparkle and he's telling me that he's going to sue me. <laughs> he ain't gonna do shit and sparkle ain't gonna, I don't even know who the hell he's talking about who the hell do you think about about uh, some woman that works in one of his shops over there that he was visiting and she he wanted her to say hello and she said again exactly it sounds like he's a damn nuisance like yeah exactly <laughs> like damn you you back already let it go <laughs> who is this weirdo <laughs> That was the video I got sent. That one right there. And I was like, oh, who the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not today. Well, Sparkle's a hit woman, and she's getting in her Jeep right now. And she's going to bring a couple more sparkers. And, I she's, guess, coming, and she's coming to get us Karens. Yeah, but see, her, he's a, her, no, her name is Sparkles. What is it? Sparkles? I wonder if Sparkle knows that JC is using her to threaten a Gotti. Yes, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. JC's using sparkles. And everybody <laughs> knows them Armenians. Yes. They do the job. They're, who the hell do you think you are? We're not in high school. I should I think really this... seriously find out who Sparkles is and let her know that her friend is using her to threaten me and my friend Karen with the hat, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the people in the chat do, give me an idea who Sparkles is, please. Give me an idea. You guys, I don't care what you write. So let's make fun of Sparkles. Okay? Let's do, let's like spend five minutes making fun of Sparkles. 
that's that's pretty sad. I was that, that's really not nice that you would use some innocent woman to threaten other women. It's not nice. You should be ashamed of yourself, JC. Really, Michael, I know Michael, you're shameless. Angel Mike DeBella says Sparkle is an associate of glitter. <laughs> Oh <laughs> that is great, Mike Bella. <laughs> In 187, isn't that a murder, not a drug? That's murder, yeah, that's murder. <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't even know people still use that term anymore. We just say murder. It's, you can just say murder. It's, you don't have to try to be street with it. Oh, that's my ridiculous. God. Argo said that sparkle is the door girl to the gay bar JC goes to. <laughs> so it's a guy dressed up and calls himself Sparkle. No, she, I mean, she's a pretty woman. I don't think she would appreciate being used as a threat on YouTube, on the internet. That's not, that's really wrong. Very do you wrong. Think, do you think JC's stalking her or going to become her stalker? Uh, I don't know, but he really shouldn't uh, be using, he shouldn't be doing that. That's wrong. Italiano this, this says, probably has no clue that he's using her. Yeah. And Italiano, what dude would the dude put the show up and then took it down? What dude? Angel, Dave Van Etten. Who was David I Dollar talking ninety nine. Back about Angel, her? What? Let me read my well, Angel. Uh, <laughs> Dave Etten gave a dollar ninety nine and said Sparkles is uh, JC's stage name. <laughs> <laughs> God. This chat is on it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkles and dimples and all that yes. shit. Dimples. <laughs> you have a, don't you have a cousin in pimples? People are crazy on here. They really are. The YouTube, the internet, where you could pretend to be anything in the world. He's still Sparkles. an asshole. Oh my god. He can come on here and be anything he wants to be, and he still chooses to be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's funny when he's talking? Gene, he's talking and Gene's there. I know Gene's saying to himself, Oh God, shut up. You just know Gene's <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Uh, I didn't watch it. I, I refuse to watch uh, these people, but I did watch that clip, and uh, and, and I, I thought it was funny. Marla was mad. I thought it was funny. Oh, I was pissed off. How are you gonna threaten somebody using someone else's name? And just it, I can't. I have never seen shit like this before. These people, I've never seen no stuff like this before in my entire life. This exactly. is insane. Exactly. Especially when a guy walks around and starts talking about sparkles. Just out of the blue. <laughs> I mean, he named uh, a woman gangster sparkles. You couldn't do better like that? Like, call her, uh, you know, a I mean, Katie? seriously, if I was threatening your friend 187 sparkles, wouldn't you have <laughs> clipped it? <laughs> What is, That's her name, 187 Why don't you have sparkles. clipped that or snapped it? And, you know, <laughs> so you could produce that. Uh, you should do that, uh, JC. Show your friend Sparkles 187. Angel, that's that a good one. 187 friend. Sparkles. That's 187 her name. Sparkles. She, she's named. That's it. She's named for life. Yeah. Okay, Poor thing. I feel sorry sparkles. for her. Well, and... Especially that he doesn't know that he's putting her, she doesn't know that he's putting her out there like that. Exactly. And and, to, and threatening uh, threatening me with her. I'm a grandmother, you bozo brain. Yeah, but you you're know what's going to happen, Angel? You're, uh, you're going to be walking to has no You're going to be walking to Target and Sparkles is going to run up on your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> I'll be I, have to, I have to see who that. has that. I just have to see who has that uh, that longer video to see where this place is, so that I can let this woman know that she's being used uh, on YouTube, uh, you know, to threaten someone. What happens, Angel, if you get a hold of her and she goes, "Bitch, I am sparkles." And I'll say, yeah, but are you really 187? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you know up. <laughs> well, call her up and say, can I speak to 187 Sparkle? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, sparkles. Mike DeBella says sparkles. <laughs> Sparkle's going to be in part two of Getting Gaudy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can't right now. Okay, Jesus, I got to ask you a question. How you doing? Do you know who Sparkles is? Uh, I don't. Know. <laughs> well, I saw the video. Our big goal. Uh, well, that's that's our big goal. We need to find out who Sparkles is because she's being used as 187. So he's yeah, threatening to murder you, Angel, with Sparkles. Yeah, Jesus, how you doing? That's today? what I said. Yeah, he's uh, using her to threaten me. That's a real threat, uh, JC. Murder. Yeah, won't be the first time I was uh, threatened to get killed on here by a content creator. Um. Hey Jesus, how you doing? Hey, good. Can you see my sweatshirt? What does it say? Sparkles? Oh, it's your dad, Angel. Oh, that's my dad. Oh. I know, but every time I see that picture, it reminds me of one person, not him. It reminds me of another content creator. Who <laughs> <laughs> had that picture on their wall for two years? Oh, really? I gotta, well, I just wanted to show you that there, Angel, because Jesus, that's very nice. It was my birthday uh, last of, week. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank you. My brother got me this sweatshirt, so it's cool I can show his daughter the sweatshirt. Very nice. And thank you. Very, very nice. And happy birthday. Yeah, happy thank you, Miss Angel. Birthday. Thank you. I got a pair You're of welcome. boxers with John A. Light on them. <laughs> 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 All right, peace out. I'll still be in the chat, but I just want to show up. Uh, no take problem, man. You take care. And thank you. People, I'll put oh, that, that nice. I'll put down the uh <laughs> oh Sparkles was a clown on the Wayans Brothers show. Really? Yeah, are you yeah, serious? Yeah. Me? Now, now he's threatening you with a clown. He's I not know. a big enough clown. He's got to get another one. Yeah, I don't not only that, it's a Stephen King clown. It's a killer <laughs> clown. Uh, I put the link if anybody else wants to jump on and say hello. Uh, you're more than welcome. DP, good to see you here. Uh, DP says, J JC is a massive liar. He wrote some BS and community posts talking about how back in 2021, he was doing live shows and getting 150 to 200 live viewers every day consistently. Now, JC, come on. I don't ever mm -hmm. remember. Maybe when if he was said, on, if, maybe yeah. when he was on someone else's show, but not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, it wasn't that the time he used to be on FBS's show. Yeah, I was just going to say, maybe the time yeah, he was on I, FBS's I, show, but not know, his. You, you did get that when you were on FBS's show, I admit it. So, you know, that's he didn't lie. People. Okay. Uh, 130 uh, likes. Please hit that like. We got to smash that button. We got to beat Angel Gotti's numbers. Okay. We got to blow Angel Gotti away. Yeah. You already did. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's just like a jealousy thing. Yes. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So Angela says, uh, listen, he's doing shows with JC. Laugh enough. Enough said. Yes. That's what J that is where where ew that was horrible that is where he is uh, J Gene is that's what level he's now he's doing shows with JC and he's back in the gutter where he belongs <laughs> keep him there yeah but you know what's gonna happen being that JC comes off like a woman Gene's gonna wind up beating JC well, you <laughs> <laughs> wait what did you say go, oh! <laughs> what did you say. I didn't say anything. Marla, can you tell her? She doesn't listen. She Basically, JC is a woman, and that means Gene Barella is going to beat him, beat him up soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Gene, Johnny, uh, Gene is a maturely an awkward teenager. Yeah, he is. To be on here attacking people instead of coming on and do your show, here's a challenge, Gene. Do a show without attacking people. Nobody will watch you. Nobody. Somebody said he's in the chat. Is he really in the chat? Yeah, well, that's an old one. But even if he is in the chat, it doesn't mean anything. He can't come up here. 
Uh, my exact thought, wow, he fell down to JC. Yep. <laughs> Mike DiBella. <laughs> Mike DiBella's on a roll tonight. Sparkle has a number eight. Sparkle has a number eight on her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> so she's actually one of the uh, uh, Beth Avenue boys. Apparently, yeah. apparently yeah, she's a Beth Avenue. If she has a number eight on her ankle, she has to be from Beth Avenue. Yeah, there's seven of them. And so she's the eighth. Listen, she was the one. I want to say yeah, this was... as well. I want to say this as well. Um, I could easily attack Gene Barello's family. I could attack his aunt Connie. Nah, we don't want to do that. I could attack his mom, his dad. I could his family, but I never did that. Never once. Exactly. My problem was with Gene Barello, and that's what I did. But Gene Barillo gets mad at me for defending my family and then starts attacking my family. I never once went after his family, and I know plenty about his family, and I've never done that. So grow up, Angel, Gene. Yeah. Grow up. But he had, he had an all-time low because now they got sparkles on your ass. Wait a minute. Yeah. Sparkles on your ass. <laughs> Angel got sparkles on her ass. <laughs> okay. uh, Sean says Chikali needs to rent another Porsche for Ch Tonto. Why do they call him Tonto? Does anybody know who named him Tonto? Was that was that? I know who thing? did it. I'm not bringing it up, and uh, and I'll let let uh, let Jean explain that. Well, I know the, it means something in Spanish, but I don't no, know. That, that's, that's, no, that could mean No, this is uh that's something else. Okay. Jim Bob says Herb is an old New York slang for tool, basically. Mickey Griggs, he said he was moving into a more expensive apartment. Well, he has to because he can't afford the the um hundred and twenty dollar rest uh motel room that he's in right now. Hey. William, knock it off. Lee is a big boy and he can handle messages like that. Yes, you could say, hey, listen, you could say whatever you want to me. You could say, oh, Lee got beat up by Gerard. You could say that. I don't care. I'm not sensitive. We had some people upset that we, they thought we were going over the line because we um, had that photo of weekend at Sammy's and had, um, Karen in it. Well, what? Karen would be holding up the body. What are you talking about? I yeah, thought that was a very uh, flattering picture. It was of, very uh, flattering. It of was her. very <laughs> flattering. She was <laughs> very, very good in that picture. I'm sure yeah. she well, you liked know we it. Did. Well, we used Hillary Clinton's body and put her face. In. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sure she liked that picture. If she saw it, yeah. she would like it. She'd probably put it up. And I want to guarantee you, if if Sammy dies, that family's not going to report his death for three months. They're going to hold him up like this. Like this. Right, sure. his arms like this. He's going to become, they're going to get a French Yeah. And Sammy be like. <laughs> <laughs> Brian says, Joey Merlino said on his show that it was his rec record. He tied up a woman in a home. It was his record. He tied up a woman in the home. Well, listen, we got to believe Joey Merlino says that he tied her up, but Angel says Gene was in the uh, car. He, so. he, uh, I heard from very, very reliable source that he did not tie the woman up. He was out in the car as the uh, driver and lookout. Was he crying out in the car? Uh, not That I did not hear. Okay, uh, Keith says um, someone showed paperwork filled to allow him to move to another county in Florida because he doesn't have funds for a motel. Yes, Keith, I seen that paperwork. Uh, that was put up by. So, how uh, could you talk about my son when my son he has a house, Gene? I got a beautiful two bedroom place, Angel. I live in luxury. <laughs> yeah. uh, Marla, Marla lives. Uh, in a mansion in uh, the Poconos. And Angel lives uh, in a house where there's still bodies buried in the backyard from the old days. 
<laughs> Sean said, if Gene didn't tell, uh, didn't tell, he probably would have have done. If Gene didn't tell, he would have done a couple of years. He's so full of crap. He wasn't looking at no life sentence. No, he wasn't. Everybody in his case wind up getting out of prison. He wasn't looking at no life sentence. Or no, he, died. he was not. Yeah. Well, Asaro got out, and uh, Ronnie G's going to get out in a couple of years. So they're getting uh, Asaro got to live a couple of years out in his outside, and um, and Asaro went to jail for other stuff. Not even that. Ronnie got fourteen years. 14, yep, 14 years. I mean, think about and that. Took it like a man. And, and Gene, Gene doesn't understand. That's what he would have done. He would have done like six or seven years. That's what he would have done. Not four, he wouldn't even done. They give Ronnie G 14. That means that Gene would have probably got half of that. <laughs> well, what are you Ronnie laughing at? He, got it because he, he was, he, he was a, you know, with the government. Said. He's a you know, mob guys like that, they're going to give him as much as they can. But Gene, yeah, he would have gotten probably four to six years. Okay, Tony B says, real mafiosos don't use the terminology herb. They get slapped for talking like that. That's true. Can you imagine him walking up to your father's going, hey, John, he's a herb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's the only person I ever hear use that word, I, I, and I haven't heard that since the '90s. He's the only exactly person to keep it alive. Oh, He's the only one trying to keep it alive. I don't know. Yeah, Dragon I, I haven't heard that. Dragon eighty two says Angel brings in the crowds. Lee, yes, she does. No, actually, uh, Lee does. No, we're, 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 they're really here for Marla because they know she's a beautiful caramel woman. She's no, a beautiful that's... what? Caramel. Car caramel? Caramel, like caramel candy? Yeah, caramel. Caramel. <laughs> okay, caramel. <laughs> now they'll be making a fun of that. They'll go, we can't even say caramel. <laughs> no, you might be saying it caramel. right. I might be saying it wrong. Uh, Real Deal said, Lee, check your phone. <laughs> what you get Lee <laughs> yeah Ronnie okay. did get hammered by the government 14 years took his home cars God knows what else uh, but guess what Ronnie's doing his time yeah he is and he'll be home soon and he'll be he'll come home like a man yeah if he wasn't considered part of that life he would have probably gotten five years for that I mean they, they gave him as much as they could Well, he agreed Real to deal. a plea. Uh, he agreed to a plea uh, plea deal with the government, and the judge was the one who banged him over the head. Exactly. Exactly. Listen, I got horrible. Four, I got four cash apps. I didn't say. Real deal. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Nicosia. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. Well, See, very nice. Phone. Very very okay. nice. Uh, that's very nice. Thank you. Uh, shit, I might be back tomorrow. <laughs> Argo, Merlino stood tall. He didn't stand tall. He's like five foot six, but he stood. Okay? That's not nice. It's a joke. He oh, would laugh. How at do you it. know how tall he is? I put up a picture today uh, on my community page of him sitting on a horse. He used to be a jockey. Did you know? Yes. That? Yes. He said. So that. it's obvious he's not a big man. You can't be a jockey if you're. But I'll tell you what. Per, pound per pound. He's a badass. Well, he he said he was a jockey. They don't call him Skinny Joey Merlino. For, uh, Merlino. Merlino. Everybody, please hit that like button. Please. Give Lee Cole a like. He hasn't been on in two, what, three months? Yes. I won't, there's only 143 likes. Ooh. Everybody's being stingy. Angel, you hit the nail on the head with that one. They are jealous of him. Who are they jealous? Oh, oh, oh I'm going to say another thing. I'm going to talk Merlino. another thing. Merlino. So we, I'm going to talk about another thing. Today, there's a new show coming on, uh, Netflix. James, can you explain what that show is about? Yeah, it's called How to Become a Mob Boss. So I, I watched the, it's a six-part series. You know, each show's 30 minutes. But, you know, it's basically... Um, 
I don't know. It's uh, each each episode is about a certain you know person involved with organized crime. So you got uh, Al Capone on the first one. I think um, Lucas is the, on the second one. You know the guy out of New York, heroin guy, and I guess John Gotti will be episode four. But anyway, it's six episodes, and it's supposed to be how to be a mob boss. So it's just basically leadership. Um, and what's the Gotti one called? What's the Gotti one called? How not to be a mob boss. Yeah, how not to. Uh, I can't remember the title. I put it in the short, but uh, basically they're saying that. Um, so net, yeah, and Netflix is bringing on these informants. Yes. For some reason, the, in, the feds are using Netflix 20 years later to still bash John Gotti. Yeah. Well, they have and, John A. Light, John A. Light was on it. He was on Mob it. Wives? What, the hell is, yeah, what the hell is the lady from Mob Wives doing? Renee that? Graziano was on there. Uh, and I had to laugh. They they had Bobby Luisi on there, and they said that he was the underboss of the of the Patriarca family in Boston. He wasn't even part he of the... He was never nothing up in... He was nothing in <laughs> Oh, Boston. my God. These people yeah. are ridiculous. Yeah, they put him as the underboss. <laughs> you know, supposedly he, he was in to... the Philly family. Yeah, he, you know why he went to Philly? Bobby Luisi went to Philly because they would not make him in Boston. Right. So he went and down he, to Philly, and, he, and 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 Joey Merlino made him down in Philly. If I'm correct, I might be wrong uh, about Peter that. Peter didn't want to. Yeah, and Peter Gotti didn't want to uh, get involved with the stuff in Boston because I think he uh, initially had approached the Gambinos, and and they wouldn't uh, make him. So okay, Gene. This is a very good point. Let's read this. Jesus says, uh, "Hey, if Gene turned around and made YouTube videos of himself working and doing good, it'd be a lot. If people would turn around on him in a good way, uh, he's done so much damage to people. It's hard to forgive him. He said so. He has so said so many mean things, horrible things to people. Uh, he, a matter of fact, you got to remember, this is a guy that used to put up pages." Attacking Angel. Remember Angel? Who are you talking about? I'm sorry, I muted because I wanted to check on the baby. Go ahead. Okay. Well, well let the baby leave the baby alone. Let the baby do take the care baby's of still sleeping. I'm shocked. But go ahead. Okay. Uh okay. So I was saying Gina's that done too many mean things to be forgiven by a lot of people because people forget about those pages that he used to put up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Or some of the names of those pages. Listen. He did horrible, horrible things. He, uh, when my uh, children's father died, I think he died like six months. He was dead. My kids were devastated by his death, absolutely devastated. And Gene was putting up memes, uh, lying that uh, Lewis died of a heroin overdose and him and his, my son was sharing a needle. It was horrible, absolutely horrible. And then, you know, he he said that he shouldn't have done that. It was low. You know, he's done really, really, really horrible things. Horrible things. He was harassing my nieces, harassing my uh, my daughter-in-law. People who were like, who is this guy? Terrible things. Okay. Hey, and Mike. Uh, wanted, I and he said that I said that he was raped. I never, ever said that. Put up the proof. Again, he's another one who will make accusations that I said and I did things. Where's the proof? Put the proof up. Show the proof where I said this. Angel, three, three, three months after my brother died, he had a page up called Lee Cole's Dead Brother. Yes, exactly. And, and then he proof. had... Uh, yeah, they yeah, put my and, and, face on porn with uh, yeah. with Lee Cole's face. It was really, really low life crap. He just listen to this idiot. Good job giving Gene life and doing Jones on the bed. Oh, good panel. You, you, I'm mad. I'm Zio Leto. Nobody knows who I am, but knows my face. Oh, Zio, go away. 
He's like a tick yeah, on a yeah, dog's ass. Yeah, he yeah, really is. Sure what, he what, is. What, a, what a disappointment oh. he turned out to be. Like, I was his biggest fan. I was Zio Lessel's biggest fan. And he turned out to be such a disappointment. <sighs> Tony Silo, why do all offenders have excuses? Any DV charge us a dirt bag? Uh, Rebecca says, uh, I know an abuser said that about me. He tossed me through a wall. I was the nutcase, tossed myself. Yep, yeah, that's what they do. They they blame the woman. You lost your phone? Light bulb. You need a light bulb? I tell your daughter to say hi to everybody, please. Oh, she can't hear. I have the uh, earphones on. Oh, she can't okay. hear. I hope Jean doesn't snap and try to hit Angel. He used to sleep on her couch, he said. Is that true, Angel? I'm sorry, Lee. We're looking for a light bulb. What did you say? Jean Barolo used to sleep on your couch. No, never. <laughs> he said that he used to eat at my house. I, he never ate at my house, ever. Well, I heard he slept on the top of the couch, and John no. Daylight slept on the bottom no. of the couch. It His looks, cousin, Rouge, like did. Rouge used to sleep by my house. But no, he never, uh, Gene never ate over. Okay. What is it with you guys' couches and everybody sleeping? I don't know. I don't know, really. Everybody it's loves those, ridiculous. those gaudy couches. They must be really comfortable couches. Uh, I never slept <laughs> on them. I wouldn't know. Well, I remember I was on your couch one night. And I seen your father get up and get chocolate chip cookies and milk. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay? Oh, you know what? That. You know what cookies my dad liked? Fig Newton. You know, I never told that. Yeah, he did like Fig Newtons too, but his favorite. Do you remember? Um, I forgot what they called. Were they called uh, tea biscuits? What were they called? Um, oh, yeah, the ones you dip in coffee. Those yeah, things are good. those were his favorite cookies. He liked them. Oh, those were <laughs> You can't eat them unless you stick them in coffee. Once you stick them in coffee, they're delicious. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, Angel, did you ever see Johnny like with any of the guys? Uh, Johnny like was friends with my brother for a short time. And uh, besides what Howie said, Howie, you're wrong. Howie, um, Johnny like did start off being Carmine's friend. That's how my brother John met him from Carmine. And how he also said that uh, Paul McDonald broke Carmine's jaw. Uh, how he, uh, I don't even really particularly uh, a big fan of Carmine's, but I'll tell you this. He was sucker punched. Carmine was walking and uh, they said, Carmine. And when he turned around, he got punched in the jaw. So that was a sucker punch, Howie. I had to stick that in there. Hey, listen, I put the I, he down. was if friends anybody... with my brother John for a short period of time, a few years, but was he ever in my father's company? Absolutely not. Never. Never. I put the uh, one second, Angel. You're trying to take over my show. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, um, Angel, I was waiting for you to say, you take over my show, Lee Call. You will, you uh, will. There's a link here. There's you a link do. here. This is going to be the last time the link's dropped for anybody to jump up here. So if you want to jump up, you can meet Angel Gotti. Yes, Angel Gotti, and you can meet her partner, Marla. Okay? Dream come true right up here right now. Oh, it's not that serious. Tommy, Tommy Stiggs, thank you very much. We appreciate you putting that up. Michael Hemsley, I don't agree with you, Lee, but I also compliment this channel when you guys do good work. Mike, listen. I have no problem with you. Whatever you want to do is your business, not mine. I may not agree with it, but it doesn't affect my life, Mike. Okay. Damn, someone, I said I was 27, and someone said, damn, Lee, you had a very rough 27 years. <laughs> All right. The Gambino was where I had family, the limelight a slot. Yes. Oh, you know, so how far am I? 612. Okay. I'm I'm like almost an hour behind Angel. I'm worse than you. All right. I'm getting to the bottom. Uh Jesus asked me, were you familiar with these guys like Ron? Yeah, of course I knew Ronnie one arm. Oh, the big name. Yes, I knew them all, but I don't talk about uh that kind of stuff because it doesn't interest me. I have zero interest in this. 
Angel knew a lot of Columbo soldiers. Oh, oh cut it out, Lee. God, you're wearing that out. I knew that was coming. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, but I, I, I don't. I, this, this, this genre. Uh, I have zero interest in it. It's like a headache. Well, I, you know, I, I like when we have good people like we got in here right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this, and Angel, you got good people in your. You, you're gonna. Always I have get the best the people. The best. I. I don't care what anybody says. I have the best. Everybody says that about their show. I got the no, best. but I have. I have. Um, I really, truly have really good people because they they don't have to be afraid to say something to me. If, if but you got um, way too many women in your chat, Angel. So what? What's wrong with that? I don't like to be around a lot of women. Hi, Jesse Roth. Um, yeah, I have there goes the show. There goes the neighborhood. Jesse Roth's here, people. I'll stop. Sparkle sounds like she didn't want nothing to do with JC. Yes, Gianna, do you hear that? She went, Are you there again? JC doesn't tell us, but right after he that show was over, she filed an order of protection against him. Oh. <laughs> Rebecca now says, I, mean, I actually found you, Lee, because of Angel. Now I have a bunch of content to watch that's right that? yeah, that's right and um hi lori love what happened <laughs> okay this guy says who is the dude talking with genie sounds like a school teacher trying to act like a gangster <laughs> oh he actually uh, uh listen uh, i i can't even i can't it's just so ridiculous to even uh address him to Angel the love Angel the love you show towards your late father and your family is beautiful. Thank you for sharing your family memories and life experiences. Hope all is well. Thank you, Baker's man. And you know, you all can say whatever you want about um, my family and my father, but uh to me, I loved him. I adored the ground he walked on. I adore the ground, my uh brothers, my sister, my mother, my whole family. So, you know, I don't know what people expect, but thank you. I, down neck, I did not see your message. So if you could rewrite it, I would send it. Okay. Uh, oh, I, oh Gianni, Gianni knows a lot of shit. And Gianni says Sparkle is feared, is feared coast from coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angel, you got a problem. <laughs> Okay, you got a real problem. Sparkles is heading your way. I can't. Uh, I am gonna find out who she is, and I am gonna let her know what is uh what that somebody is using her. That because yeah. that's really like I said a thousand times, it's wrong. And hi itty bitty, and she is great. The new baby is amazing. As a matter of fact, she's been sleeping for the longest time now. Well, Sparkles uh, got a hit squad. They're called the Sparkettes. So Ooh, the Sparkettes. Careful. Sparkle and the Sparkettes. There's six of them. Uh, let's see. Oops. Come on, guys. We are expecting like a minute it grows to show. Please hit like. Oh, yes. Hey, listen, I got almost 160 likes. I can't ask. You guys are fantastic. That guys. was great. That was great. Is okay, let's see how this show did. What? I made money tonight. I made money tonight. Uh, we we got um, we got you good got numbers. You got nice size crowd, yeah. Nice, and and then I'm here with uh, my favorite people in the world, and also um, uh, this has made me reconsider. Maybe I should do more lives. I didn't realize we got a lot of new people. James, are you still there? Or are you hiding? I'm here. James is with. No, I'm James here. Hear me? Okay. Let me just read this, Lee. Oh. North, North End Born. Angel, I understand exactly what you mean. When you grow up in or around all you hear are stories for 50 years, then you come on here and hear nonsense for another five years. You know, this, let, let me explain. Today, was it today Angel, or yesterday? Angel. Let me tell you something, Angel. Lee. Wow. A second, before you explain, I just want to say one thing. Mike DeBella, 999, he says, Sparkle used to rub down Mikey's scars from the back seat. 
<laughs> okay, Angel, you take over, good. Angel. Okay, so I think it was yesterday. I'm uh, into um, all the monarchy stuff. I am fascinated with it. My sister and I are both really into it. So, like, we watch uh, shows like about uh, Henry VIII and uh, like Anne Boleyn and you know uh, Queen Elizabeth. And, you know, yesterday I'm watching it and I said, you know something? I can't even believe these things anymore because I see what they do with my father. You know, half of the documentaries out there about him are not accurate. The movie, the 96 movie that everybody loves is not accurate. Um, a lot of these shows, they're all bullshit. So... It's affecting me now when I watch these other historical things that I'm sitting there going, you know what? I can't even like say like, oh, wow, really that happened? Because it probably might have not happened. So that's my thought for the today. Everybody, you got to hear Angel's thought for the day. That, and you, <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't charged. No, I'm, I'm serious. Says, it's hard. Brian says, how long do you guys think Sonny, who was in the WWE, will be get for killing that guy? She is getting sentenced on the 27th. Yes, yeah, Sonny, it's a shame what happened to Sonny. She started doing porno flicks, everything. Uh, what happened? What did she do? She killed she somebody? Was a yeah, she's killed some guy. And uh, Why did she kill him? I have no idea. Uh, you know something, Ryan? Uh, James, can you look into that? James? Yeah, I'll look into it. Whatever okay. happened to the other guy, the MMA guy who was in Mexico and killed his girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's drinking he's, and driving? Yeah, he's be in prison. I think she he's was happy. Prison. I think she was drinking and driving. Who? The sunny lady. Oh, oh. the sunny. Yeah. No, but what happened to the MMA guy who uh he's gonna be in, he's gonna be in prison for life. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I mean, he, he was what the what the women's woman's body, and she was beaten from the bottom of her feet to the top of her head. Yeah, exactly. Jesse Roth, I'm gonna watch that. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna come in and listen. Let me know when you do that one, cause I love them. My sister is the best. I don't even have to read a book. My sister will. My sister say, "Oh, did you see the?" Uh, say the white queen. I said, no, I didn't get, oh no, you have to get that book. Or she'll tell me you have to get that movie. By the time we get off the phone, she told me that from the beginning to the end and left nothing so I won't out. I tell you too much. <laughs> yeah, that's, you hear my daughter? Oh, I won't tell you too much, but by the end of the conversation, I know the whole entire movie or book. <laughs> So what are you saying, Angel? You're saying your sister has a big mouth? <laughs> no, she just, she can't hold it in. She That's what it sounds talk. like. No, she'll say, oh, did you see the White Queen? Did you watch the White Queen? Did you read this? Did you read that? The Red Queen, the White Queen? The White Queen. Yeah, the White Queen. I'm like, no. But yeah, now they, I just know, say, so oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Out of all those shows, I thought that the one with uh, Henry VIII was the best. Uh, what was that called again? The Tudors? The Tudors, yes. Yes, I, thought I that was the best. That. I love the way he got rid of his wives. Oh, that's disgusting. What? Really, Lee? You didn't even get yeah. the... If a guy could do that legally, like you're, you're with your wife and you're checking her out and you're like, I want to cut her head off. Come on, no. No. Oh, she's up? No. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, Polish Mafia says Gene is called Tonto because he, Gene said he's all Italian, okay? He was good. He was proposed. Right, Angel? What's he proposed by No you? comment. <laughs> he likes to uh, tell people that my brother was Jewish. But uh, I'm I'm gonna be the better person here, and no comment, okay, Gene. Even though you lied about my brother. Down neck, I text Angel. I already let her know. I read it from earlier. 
so she knows. If I miss your remarks, don't take it personal. I got to go down a little bit because I'm so far behind. Okay, we're going to go to North End Bourne. La Costa Nostra, no family from another city or state can uh, operate in another city or state. That was existing family. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's see. North. Okay. Baker's Man says, question for you, Lee. Is Dom Sicali okay. a delusional jackass when he claims to still talk to people in the life? Why would people in the life actually talk to a rat? They no, don't. Nobody in the life would. They no don't. real person in the life would. Not. He's not the first person to say that either. I still talk to people in life. That's not true. Come on. They all say that. Even they Sammy all says say that. Say it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Angel, uh, were you familiar with these gangsters, Ronnie One Arm? Yeah, I read. Yes, I, we read that earlier, Lee. Okay, okay, Angel, you did this a lot to me. Okay, don't take it out. <laughs> <of me. laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, down next says this is the message. I have to give baby Emma a gift. Still, Lee, what I want you to tell her. Okay, uh, down next, you don't have to do that. Thank you. you cut cut it out, Angel. Yes, do down that. next, you have to do that. Okay, don't don't listen to her. Down next. <laughs> okay, so here's what you do down next: send her a cash app, and she'll buy. It. <laughs> Uh, North End Born, Angel History is a Lie. Everything we learned in school is a lie. Uh, the hippie teachers from the 60s just do what they're told and taught us nonsense. Uh, yeah, a lot of it. I, I agree. Okay, Lee, what year were you in the combat zone? 80 and 81, North End. The you summers what? of 80 and the summer of 81, just so you know. What racist crap? Angela's saying, chat, don't give life to the racist crap. What racist crap? A anybody says anything racist, just block them right away. Yeah, don't even exactly. think about it. Damn, did it start? Because okay. I came on the panel. <laughs> what no. happened? I don't think it was. Well, right uh, away, they started saying bad things when Marley got in here. <laughs> no, they did not. No, They're they like, what is she doing here? What does she know about the mob life? She's black. No, no, they did not. <laughs> Newborns uh, don't sleep because they're they're tired. They sleep because they are content, comfortable, and secure. That's true. They're, and dogs are the same way. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Jeff to do well. Good. Jeff to do is more entitled. Jesse Roth. Jesse, I gave you a wrench. I hope you keep it. Oh, I'm doing uh, another Tudor story soon. I love doing the show. Yes, I, that's a great show, the Tudors. Great show. Can you imagine just being a king like that and whenever anybody aggravates you, you could just kill them? Oh, my God. Peter Griffin's here. Who? Oh, no. Get rid of me, Peter Griffin. Who? Peter Griffin. Griffin, Why? Peter Griffin came in and wrote out the word N I G E E R. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, that's what they uh, somebody said someone spammed the chat with it. Yeah, ban them right away. I banned them. What low uh, lives? Well, they do it on purpose because they try to they then they'll say that you have racist stuff in your chat and they try to take your show down. Uh, Thanks, North Argo. If they uh, if they do talk to him, which is a rap move, maybe they do not propose, feed bullshit. I don't know what they you're talking about. They do it on here. purpose and feed him BS. I doubt it. Nobody's gonna talk. I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna talk. Would you talk to somebody if if they you knew they they told on all their friends to avoid going to prison? Would you still talk to that person? Well, you know, at least Frank Forlino's honest about it. He says that he wish he says he, he wishes that he can call the people he ratted on, but he knows he can't. So that pretty much gives you the answer, don't you think, Angel? I didn't even listen to what you said. Sorry. Frank Fiorellino um, said Frank Fiorellino says that he would love to talk to his old friends, but he knows he can't because of what he did to them. Right. So, exactly. So he, he's basically saying. They don't want nothing to do with him. 
Exactly. So why wouldn't that be with all the informants? Why exactly. would any of them want anything to do with that? Vinny Bashiano was very much loved. I mean, or uh, or Ronnie G, another guy. These guys were in their neighborhood. They were neighborhood guys, right, Angel? Their neighborhoods yeah. respected them. Why are they going to talk to them? Exactly. Um, Jesus says, Angel, how did people treat you in high school? Be honest. Were you very popular, feared, perhaps bullied? Um, Jesus, when I went to high school, um, nobody knew who John Gotti was. What year did you go to high school, Angel? I uh, I graduated, what was it, 79? Yeah, 79. At 79, that time, 80, I went to hair cutting school. So that was 79, 80. I got married in 83. So, you know. Wasn't he, your father, when you were in high school, wouldn't your father mostly be in jail at that time? On and off. He was yeah, in prison, I think, from 77. Wait, he got out in 78. Okay. I think he was away from 75 to 78. I don't remember. I truthfully don't remember. And 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 everybody treated me just like everybody else. But come Christmas 1985, everything changed for Angel. Yeah, but I also had a son by then. You know, I yeah, had but, a baby. But... I was married. I had a baby. I lived down the block from my parents at that time. They used to point at point Angel in, 80, in 86 and go, no. Spark, Spark Steakhouse. Spark no, Steakhouse. they never did that to me. <laughs> they never did that to me. Never. <laughs> Howard Beach is very small and everybody really, you know, everybody knew everyone. I never had a problem, not one problem in Howard Beach ever. If, if people, if you see anybody come in with Islam stuff, Jewish stuff, uh, racist stuff, block them right yeah. away, please. Yeah, Don't even give them a second to get anything out. They're purposely doing it. Yeah, I hope he gets a new trial too, Lori Love. I met Vinny Bastiano, and he's a very, very nice man. And I hope he gets a new trial too. Angel, what's the most, somebody wants to know, what's the most amount of uh, pot pie, chicken pot pies you had to cook in one night? Oh, just two. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Just two. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. Um, oh, no, I'm lying. How's that? One Christmas Eve, uh, there were some family members, some of my uh, nephews the, and niece. Uh, yeah, my niece, two nieces and some of my nephews don't eat fish. So Christmas Eve, I made uh, some chicken pot pies for them. And my sister made like a ham and whatever else she made. But yeah, I did. I made four or five chicken pot pies. I, I, oh, she's Angel, up? I, oh no. Yeah, oh, she is? is? Oh, good. Finally. Okay. I want to I want to answer this one right. Hey Lee, without mentioning my name with your ex-partner, you said you knew someone uh with my name. It could have been me or my father. I was about 20 back then. Is your first name start with an A? Or an M. So uh, if you are, I, I dropped you my email. Please write me. I would like to talk to you because I remember you. And that's from Angel. This, he's talking about 1980 and 81. Hello? I'm sorry. My little baby is up. I'm sorry. Okay. This she gentleman right here. Talking, what happened? This gentleman, this gentleman was, is my age and he's talking to... Uh, I mentioned him a while back with Danny Trio, and uh, so if I did, if this is who I think it is, My this is from 1980 that I knew this guy in Boston, Angel. Really? In Boston. Yes. So if your name starts with an A or an M, I know who you are. Wow. Warriors. Your apology about today. Oh, forget about it. It's not a big deal, Damien. But Damien, if you ever do that again, I swear to God, I'm going to smack the living daylights out of you if I ever see you. A matter of fact, I'm not pulling up on Sammy. Next time, I'm pulling up on Damien Trites. Yes, I'm pulling up on Damien Trites. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to jump out and say, what do you want, Damien? I'm going to kick your butt. And about a minute later, you'll see me sleeping and snoring on the ground. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
Wise guy, how you doing? Thank you for making the show. I appreciate it. And people, Wise Guy TV, if you are not subscribed to him, uh, go to Wise Guy TV and subscribe to him. He has a fantastic show. Yes, he does. Italian Stallion, how you doing? A uh, matter of fact, if somebody wants, they could put uh, Wise Guy's TV in the um. Angel, that girl, um, Jesus wants baby. to know really you met Vinny B curious under what circumstances if you can't answer don't I'm just trying um, I met him at the MCC when he was uh, there and my brother John was there at the same time and they were both in uh, solitary confinement and they but we we had the whole um floor at that time was just for the two visits his and and my brother john's okay and that's how okay, it well, I'm, I'm gonna start a fight with itty bitty i'm more interested in victoria cooing in the background with the baby the itty than <laughs> <Lee's story. laughs> let me read that to my daughter because she can't hear you Vic okay. itty bitty said i'm more interested in victoria cooing at the baby in the background than lee's story <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, itty bitty, gun smoke <laughs> is ugly. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's cold blooded. Like, Don't talk what about did he gun say? Smoke. What did he say gun to itty bitty? I'm going to make fun of gun smoke now. You see what you? I'm going to turn me on gun poke. Wait. Uh, let's see. Baker's man, Angel, what were your grandparents like? I think I saw a picture of your grandfather once in the media. I could be mistaken. No, you probably did see him. Uh, my grandfather, which was my father's father, was my best friend. Um, we He truly was my best friend. My he was grandmother was close to Do you what? remember the... He was actually. I have a short where. Yeah, your where he father, said, and I thank God every night. Yeah. I pray every night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That was my grandpa. He was my best friend. And my grandfather, my grandmother, I uh, was close to her as well. And my mother's parents, uh, uh, my grandmother died. Mm, what year did she die? 1981. That was my mother's mom. And, uh, but. And then her father and his uh, uh, wife and his kids, they all lived in Florida. So uh, it wasn't as close to them as I was with my uh, father's family. But now I'm really, really close to them. Uh, wise guy, Lee, you're catching up to me quick. My uh, pass me soon. Yeah, but you know, you can't really compare that because your show, Wise Guy, um, you get a lot of uh, subs and views and stuff with one video, which is, it says a lot about your show. So it's we have two different ways. We put up a lot of shorts and we do about three shows a week. You put up one show, two shows a week, and your shows uh, get like 20, 30,000 each. Oh, wow. It's hard well, to compare. Lee, you got 16K? Somebody said congrats, Lee, on 16K. I didn't yep. realize that. Yes, he did. We said that earlier. Congratulations, oh, Lee. Congratulations, Lee. I yeah, G, yeah, G bro goes, they don't got 16K. He bought them. No, he, he did he got... not. Lee Cole is too cheap to buy 16,000 <laughs> subs. Believe me when I tell you. 16,000 subs. Imagine paying for 16,000 yeah. subs. Uh, B D Palermo Angel, what year did you guys move to that house in Howard Beach? 1974. And that's how how long I am friends with the G Alonzos since 1974. She's my best friend. His sister is my best friend. Uh where's James? Someone's asking for you. Who? Yeah, I'm James? here. Yeah, I'm here. Someone's asking. Someone's asking for you. What do they want? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Good question. <laughs> no, what do you want? I'm going to do that from now on. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to look here in the in the chat though. 
Uh, Eddie wants to know how Polly is. Polly's doing good. She's an old lady, but she's doing good. I I bought a a queen size bed. Well, my sister gave it to me as a gift. I have not slept on it one time. It's her bed, and she's only eleven pounds. So when I put pillows up and I send pictures to Angel and go, look how cute Polly looks. Just been uh, listening to the conversation. Vinny B got oh. smacked around. I know you're not talking about Bastiano. And if you are, did you hear that from what? Dominic Sicali? Please. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Good night, North End born. Okay. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to kick Angel and Epic Marla out of here. And James. Yeah, and we're like, getting out. I have to go. Because uh, Angel's something. annoying me because she's spending more time. She's uh, starting to ignore, uh, annoy me. And, and she's pay, paying more attention to that baby and, her, and the mom. <laughs> and I always knew. See, I used to pretend I liked that kid when it was in the belly. But now it's out of the belly. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm starting to have different opinions here. Is there any way you can put that kid back for a couple more months? No, 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 never, never. Okay. And then you got the other one. She breaks the bad news to me today that she's going to be home for 12 weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to, I had this thing. I drink coffee in the morning with Angel, right? Yes. No I drink coffee with, with Angel, ah, a big screaming baby, and the daughter wanting all the attention from mommy. So it's not the same anymore. Things have changed. This kid has wrecked everything. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, so it's not easy, people. And look, I'm not even related to the family, and that baby has put me out of the way. <laughs> Little typical gaudy kid. Typical gaudy kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hold on. I see that this uh, ass wipe is back now. Uh, oh. Kelly Chameleon spelling out the N word. Go scratch. Yeah, they oh, yeah, just yeah, just yeah, just block me. Yeah, please, don't even play around. I don't want that. What idiots? I don't no, even they're know just what to trying say about to. They just like want to hurt. That. What they're just trying to do that to get the show demonetized or whatever. It's and they don't realize if you block it right away, YouTube YouTube gives you a, a certain amount of time to block yeah, that stuff. Right. Because it gets past. See what they do is uh, the words already blocked in my in, in our blocked words, but if they spell it out separately, they can get it in. People, yeah, thank that's you. exactly what they did. Let me just answer this guy, Angel. Uh, Craig, uh, Craig five eight three five. Angel, I saw your MMA nephew. Uh, he has a great body happening. It's tough being tough. He is wishing him all the best. Thank you very much. And there will be a. Uh, a rematch between um, him and uh, Floyd Mayweather and surprise where and when it will be. I will let everybody know. And Angel, I got to ask you a question. I want your honest opinion. Do you think that John Gotti the third can defeat Gene Barillo in a fight? Oh my God. I'm With one hand think. tied behind his back, hopping on one leg. <laughs> I can't even answer that. <laughs> okay, people, I'm going to get rid of Marla. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Thanks Marla. Yes, thank I love you, you. And, you. and thank you, you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Good Take night. care, Angel. Take care, Marla. Thank you. And that's it, people. Oh, wait. Yeah. I get it with myself. Hold on. Kick me out. Okay. <laughs> okay, people, thank you so much for coming here. As soon as yes. I get out of here, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna uh, cook a T-bone steak. So I've been thinking about that. I'm gonna eat late tonight. So Polly and I are gonna have T-bone. You guys have been great. Uh, people yes. that have donated, thank you so much. Thank and you. You know what? We are gonna do a live show this weekend for the Mob Channel, being that so many people showed up. Uh, and we thank you all. It's been wonderful. I can't ask, you know, it's just a blessing it, it, that so many people showed up. Good people, too. So everybody take care. And if you want a wrench, if I haven't given you a wrench next time I'm in, tell me. And uh, 
if, it, if I if I like you or I trust you, I'll give you a wrench. With that, people, have a nice night. James, anything you want to say to the people before we leave? No, just uh, you know, thank you everyone for for being here. It's a lot of fun, and um, you know, we will do this again soon. And tomorrow at six o'clock, we're going to be doing a wrestling stream. I'll put it up tomorrow morning. Uh, so just look out for that if you're part of the wrestling channel. Thank you.